Hi guys, this is Irene, and I just wanted to come on here and talk about the kind of mini crisis that's going on with the hog farms in the Carolinas. And I guess I was prompted to do this video, even though I know this is probably not a popular topic, simply because I feel very strongly about factory farming. And I also feel really strongly about mass production in general. Um, there are some things, uh, that I would like to see a more human element to. And I think mass production affects society on a lot of levels, not just environmentally, um, and not just uh, the, the fact that it pr provides a climate for monopolies, but also that I feel like it actually hurts people. It makes a, a, a whole group of people who are incapable of, of doing what should be common um, tasks that are survivalist in nature, such as creating clothing, um, being able to build things on a mass scale, not just random people here and there that are able to do it. And it also takes away from these factories um, human employment because when you have machines replacing the work of humans, things become more efficient, which means you can make more and create more waste, but it also means that um, less people are needed to do the work. And I think this helps to balloon up our poor population. So um, I could go on a whole rant about that and I'll probably do a separate video about that. But because I have these feelings, when I heard what was happening with the hog farms, it sort of really spoke to me in the sense that it made me realize um, this is a problem that we face with factory farms. Uh, first of all, because of regulations, they have to have to actually contain their feces. We know that where they're not regulated, they simply pump their waste into the water systems in the areas where their farms are. But they are containing their feces, and what they do is occasionally spray their feces over homes and, and over you know the land surrounding their farms. I'm going to go ahead and play a clip of what's going on with these farms, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to speak a little bit more. Um, Will, if you could start off by talking about um, exactly what is happening um, with all of these animal corporate factory farms and what is being threatened. Right now, the storm is hurtling towards the epicenter of animal agriculture in North Carolina. And as you mentioned, the vast majority of these factory hog farms utilize what's called a lagoon and spray field system to manage their waste. And in reality, even on the best day, the surrounding communities live under constant threat of an environmental catastrophe. But that threat is significantly exacerbated with the level of rainfall and, and the height of winds that we are expecting uh, as a result of this storm. And currently, although the industry is feverishly working to remove animals from the coastal plain, the waste is remaining. Uh, many of the operators are furiously drawing down those lagoons by spraying, even in violation of their permit after the National Weather Service has issued warnings prohibiting it. And we know, uh, based on past experience, most recently with Matthew, that as these rainfall uh, events result in flooding, which may take days to manifest, that the facilities are inherently threatened, especially those that are in the 100-year floodplain. And there are still 62 of these factory swine operations storing more than 200 million gallons of animal waste generated each year in the 100-year floodplain. And so the threat is significant, and the it won't solely manifest as a result of these initial impacts, but could worsen as floodwaters rise. The, the, the hogs are kept in tin metal housing, and they have slacks in the floor where whatever, they, whenever they go to the bathroom or abort baby piglets or whatever happens with them, it falls through the slacks in the floor and it's piped out. There are pipes running underneath the ground, and that the waste is piped out into the open air lagoon. And there are all kinds of chemicals. Uh, this um, and this 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 urine and fecal fecal matter produces methane, ammonia gases, and and so you can smell it. And what people say it smells like rotten eggs, sometimes uh, rotten collard greens, or it's just a terrible smell. And they have been forced off of their wells because they were seeing 
um, remnants of the waste in their well waters by the coloring and the odors coming out of their well water. So yes, um, and, and what we see, and I didn't feel like digging up more footage, even though I did find some more, um, or I'm sorry, I didn't feel like editing in more footage. <laughs> because I've already done a lot of editing this week, but uh, I did find some more is that there are pigs belly up that are dead. They weren't able to transport all the pigs they could. Of course, there's overflow of this feces, which is just disgusting. Um, so these factory farms are a real problem. They're a real environmental problem. And I know, uh, you know, again, I'm not a Republican. I'm middle road. I know Republicans basically don't care about the environment. Um, I'm not going to jump on the global warming bandwagon or anything like that, but I will say simple things like keeping our water supplies clean. That's like important. Like that's just, that's just smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> preserving the things we need to actually survive like in life and water is a necessity is very important. So there has to be some level of regulation and that's why I really disapprove of factory farms because the way that they do business is detrimental to our ability to have a healthy environment. And we're looking at that situation right here. And again, like I mentioned earlier, note that they were very happy. I'm sorry, I am I told you guys I was moving around the house today, um, trying to just film videos in different places. And so I'm in an open area again. <laughs> and my children are on another floor and down a hall in another room, but we can still hear them. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, with that said, I felt that this was an important issue to bring up. I feel that what we're seeing here is really indicative of why we need to start to scale down, um, create more individuals that farm, create methods of farming that allow one farm to grow more than one crop. It shouldn't just be all pigs somewhere. Um, things that are more rounded in their approach, environmentally sound and sustainable, um, so that more people are employed, our food quality is better, and there aren't hundreds of thousands of tons of feces from one animal just sitting in a pool waiting to be overturned every time the earth decides to get a little hiccup. So that's my two cents on that. I'm gonna go ahead and go. It sounds like my kids are having like a WWF, I think it's called WWF, fight up there. Um, a fun fight, not a real fight. <laughs> and so I'm going to go break it up.